Right, we're at the 21st IFC and um, I'm with Giles Pegram who is the Director of Fundraising at the NSPCC who most people will know is retiring this year. So this is probably going to be his last IFC. So Giles, how long have you been coming here? Well I've been coming pretty much since the second uh, IFC in Zurich uh, some 27 years ago uh, and I've come to everyone since. And what have been the highlights of your time at the IFC? I, I think there, there are three that I can, I can remember. One is uh, hearing Guy Stringer, the ex-director of Oxfam, recently deceased. Uh, and he talked to fundraisers about fundraisers being uh, a real force for good, uh, about being agents for change. And I think that was the first time that I really felt uh, proud to be a fundraiser, knowing that I was making uh, a difference in the world. Uh, the second uh, highlight for me was hearing uh, Austrian Greenpeace talking about a new fundraising technique that they discovered uh, of wearing tabards and going out with clipboards into Austrian shopping centres and signing people up to a regular gift. And I just remember the audience being completely wowed uh, by that presentation and going off to their own countries and their own organisations saying, why can't we do this? Why can't we do this? And that was the beginning of face-to-face uh, -face fundraising as we know it. And then the third highlight was uh, hearing Karen Osborne from the United States mm -hmm. coming over and talking about stewardship of donors uh, and the whole idea of nurturing donors, not just raising money from them. Uh, and I think, once again, that's uh, an idea that's been taken back and now every organisation in the United Kingdom is talking about stewardship. How do you think it's changed over the years? You know, it, I presume you're going to say it's got better, but I just wondered how, well, how have you I, seen it change? Well, I, I, think, I think it got worse and then it got better. Mm -hmm. um, I think in the early days, um, in, in the Guy Stringer days, it was about uh, donors and it was about beneficiaries. Um, and I think in the mid-80s, uh, I think it lost its way slightly. Uh, and I think it became much more about fundraising technique, uh, fundraising processes, products, spreadsheets, analysis, um, and the, the donor got lost. Uh, and what's really pleased me about this year's session is the... Uh, I love the opening plenary. It wasn't uh, all fireworks and jamboree. It was people talking with real passion about the difference that fundraising makes in the world. So I think, in a sense, the IFC has come around full circle. So uh, although it's my last one, I, I, I'm leaving on a high note. Do you think it really will be your last one, or do you think you might be back at some time in the well, future? Well, that depends if anyone invites me back. <laughs> where would you, if you could see it, where would you like the IFC to go in the future? What do you think are the challenges that are still um, available to it they can tackle? I'd, I'd, I'd like it to continue uh, going back to its roots of being a donor-focused, beneficiary-focused conference that uh, looks at new ways of connecting donors with the causes that they, uh, that they want to meet. And you know what? I'm sure that you will be back. Thank you very much. Charles, thank you.